So I get a lot of inspiration from the family, from the nest. I get a lot of inspiration from uh, business colleagues. I see a friend, I see a senator whose brother was a great friend of mine, Zipora Kitonyi. At one time I was in problem. I was in problem with the, uh, the President Moy. <laughs> now, how to face Moy on a situation? I had gone out to China and I went and committed this country to something quite big. The country was not aware of it. This, in fact, I'll say it very briefly. Do you mind, PLO? No, I don't. Thank you. <laughs> I am involved with the disabled. And I had attended congresses all over the world. And I did believe that I and my committee were capable of holding an international conference in Kenya. And so I went around, I went to the ministry concerned and I talked to them about it and they said impossible. We haven't got the money, we haven't got the capacity and we will not be able to hold the conference. I explained to them that there was no financial implication but the answer was no. I went to China where the other con con Congress was being held and, people, uh, and countries were making application. And I made the application in the name of APDK, in the name of Kenya. While in Beijing, a fax came from the ministry stating clearly that now APDK chairman has no authority to, uh, 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 you know, to get Kenya holding this uh, conference. Luckily, the fax reached me instead of the intended person <laughs> who was the minister. I kept it in my pocket. So I made the application, I pleaded, and they agreed that we could hold their uh, Congress in the country. Now the question was, how do I actually go back to Kenya and say, we did get the uh, Congress when the government had already said no? So I looked for a friend, and that was Ruben, Chesire, the brother of Zipora. And Ruben took me straight to President Moy. And I went, I say, Your Excellency, I have got good news for you. <laughs> I say what? I say, look, Kenya has been appointed to hold the 17th World Congress or the physically disabled people. He said, oh, Mzuri Sana. <laughs> Why did I write the book? In the introduction, I have said how long it took me and what have you. But I think one other reason is simply that every time a public figure passes away, and there is a funeral. And people come and they tell a lot of lies <laughs> about it. Because I have never seen at any stage where they stand up and they say, no, but that person, uh, you know, he actually cheated me with, with Mareva tiles. 
maybe he did this or that. So I thought that before my time comes, let me actually tell people what I was. So that when the time comes and they start embellishing, just re re refer to Ra, <laughs> then you will see, you know, what is happening. 